Healthy oceans and seas are essential to our existence, they cover 70% of our planet and we rely on them for food, energy and water. Over 3 billion people depend on marine ecosystems to make their living. It's estimated that the goods and services the ocean provides are worth at least $2.5 trillion per year, making it the world's seventh largest economy. It's estimated that we only know 230,000 of the 2 million living species in the ocean. More than 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. Since it's difficult to protect what we don't know, only about 7% of the world's oceans are designated as marine protected areas. Yet, we have managed to do tremendous damage to these precious resources. We must protect them by eliminating pollution and overfishing and immediately start to responsibly manage and protect all marine life around the world. Let's jump into oceans and discover the variety of species exists in oceans. Fishes are some of the most interesting and varying types of animals in the animal kingdom. But what makes a fish a fish? Well all fish are cold-blooded animals that live in the water. They have backbones, fins, and gills. Fish come in more varieties than any other group of vertebrate animals. And there are 32,000 different species of fish. There are three major types or classes of fish including jawless, cartilaginous, and bony fish. An example of a jawless fish is the lamprey eel. Sharks are cartilaginous fish and the blue marlin is a bony fish. Fish vary in all sorts of colors and sizes. Fish can be as large 40 feet long to half an inch long. Biggest, or heaviest, fish as the ocean is sunfish which can weigh as much as 5,000 pounds. The longest fish is the whale shark which has been known to grow to over 40 feet long. The fastest fish is a sailfish which can swim as fast as 68 miles per hour. The smallest fish is the dwarf goby at only 9 mm long. Scientists have discovered a new species of fish that glides gently through the water on white, translucent wings 5 miles beneath the ocean surface. It is the deepest living fish ever discovered. It is about 10 inches in length, and almost entirely transparent. The dense white part you can see is actually its skull, visible through its skin. The new fish, which has not yet been named, was discovered by accident. Marine Mammals What makes a marine mammal a marine mammal? They must meet the characteristics of all mammals, they breathe air through lungs, are warm-blooded, have hair, at some point during life, and produce milk to nurse their young, while also living most or all of their lives in or very near the ocean. Dolphins, whales, sea otters, and other marine mammals capture the imagination and demand the affections of people around the world. Many of these marine animals adhere to complex social systems and exhibit remarkable intelligence. Next we have corals and other invertebrate. Oceans are home to a diverse assortment of corals, starfish, jellyfish, sea slugs, kelp and more. Corals are living creatures that often live in compact colonies and build up coral reefs, the biggest of which is the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Queensland, Australia. Corals and other invertebrates face major threats from climate change and destructive fishing like dynamite fishing, bottom trawling and more. Now let's discuss sharks and rays. Sharks have played a vital role in maintaining healthy oceans for hundreds of millions of years as a top predator. More than 450 species of sharks cruise the world's oceans, ranging in size from 8 inches to a whopping 40 feet long. 
But today, nearly one in four sharks and their relatives are threatened with extinction. Sharks and rays are threatened by the demand for fins, overfishing, fisheries bycatch, habitat and prey loss, and human disturbance. Sea turtles and reptile Sea turtles have been around since the time of the dinosaurs, but all seven species in the world face potential extinction. There are proven campaigns running to protect sea turtles from death as bycatch, habitat degradation, and other issues. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest sea turtle, measuring 6 to 9 feet in length and weighing up to 700 kilograms other sea turtle species are smaller, being mostly 2 to 4 feet long and proportionally narrower. Before I go ahead please subscribe our channel and do let us know in the comment section what do you think about our content. Next one is the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. The Atlantic bluefin tuna is one of the open ocean's fastest, strongest predators and the target of several small and large-scale fisheries throughout its range. Historically reaching weights of up to 900 kilograms and lengths of nearly 15 feet, the Atlantic bluefin tuna is the largest tuna and easily the largest species in the mackerel family. Atlantic bluefin tuna eat a variety of prey but apparently prefer pelagic fishes and invertebrates that they can swallow whole. Female Atlantic bluefin tuna produce up to 10 million eggs a year. Eggs hatch two days after being fertilized. Atlantic tuna can live up to 35 years and possibly longer than that. The Atlantic bluefin tuna is a highly prized food fish and is fished heavily throughout its range. Its value in the high-grade sushi market in Japan and elsewhere is high enough to cause fishers to target this species with almost unmatched effort. Now here's the most interesting fish which is the red-lipped batfish. The red-lipped batfish doesn't have any known predators. And because its habitat is so far underwater, it's out of reach of most environmental issues known to other sea life. The fish also sports a fleshy appendage on the top of its head called an elysium, which contains a chemical emitting law that's thought to attract the small fish and invertebrates on which it feeds. And with lips that flawless, it's always ready for a selfie. Our oceans and seas are being threatened and destroyed by human activities like marine pollution, overfishing, and destruction of marine habitats. And the major problem is plastic. One of the advantages of plastic is that it is designed to last. Which is a blessing and a curse. Nearly all the plastic ever created still exists in some form today. Not only does it end up in our oceans, but it can also take hundreds of years to break down. Current estimates report says that there are over 150 million tons of plastics in the ocean today and an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic waste entering our oceans every year. This equates to one garbage truck's worth of plastic being dumped into our oceans every minute. On top of that, models project that by 2050, there will be more plastic by weight than fish in the oceans. To conclude, the ocean is a vast, beautiful body of water covering most of the Earth's surface. So many interesting species offer a wealth of biodiversity and although it remains largely unexplored. That's it for today. Hopefully by now, you've gained a new respect for the ocean and our natural resources. Maybe next time you go to the beach, try taking a minute to take in the natural beauty and feel thankful for the ocean and the creatures living inside.